This is Mrs. Ono. I'd like to read a book to you called An Egg is Quiet. It's by Diana Aston and Sylvia Long. It's a science book. Do you see all the eggs on the cover? These illustrations are scientifically correct. Here's some harlequin bugs, some green vegetable bugs, a black neck stilt. And then, oh, up here, these are green lacewing bugs. Let me open it up and see what's inside. Look at all these different kinds of eggs. Let's learn about some oviparous animals. An egg is quiet. By Diana Aston, illustrated by Sylvia Long. This is a black necked stilt egg. It sits there under its mother's feathers on top of its father's feet, buried beneath the sand, warm, cozy. This is an Anna's hummingbird. This is an emperor penguin. And this is a Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. An egg is colorful. Look at all the beautiful colors eggs come in. Right here we have a painted bunting, a Townsend solitaire, a cactus wren, a booted warbler, a back, black capped mocking thrush, a snow bunting, a chuker, a little blue heron, a turkey egg, a passion vine butterfly, larger than actual size, a long-tailed tailor bird, a stellar's jay, a northern shrike, a yellow-billed cuckoo, a chipping sparrow, a great blue heron, lobster, larger than actual size, glossy ibis, brewer sparrow, and over here we have black naped orioles, king salmon, bushy crested jays, Fork-tailed storm petrels. Oh, prothonotary warblers, Kirtland warblers, blue crabs, thick-billed warblers, stream biltern, herring gulls, golden crowned kinglet, a field cricket, an elegant tinamou, a haw, a haw finch, a California thrasher, a cozy cat, oh, a gray catbird an American robin, a blue jay, and a hepatic tanager. Oh my goodness, look at all those eggs. Those are all eggs. An egg is colorful. There are round eggs. There are oval eggs. There are pointy eggs. And there are even tubular eggs. An egg is shapely. Sea turtles dig a hole in the sand with their flippers and lay up to 200 soft round eggs. Round eggs fit together nicely in tight spaces. This is a ladybird beetle. This is larger than actual size. There are oval eggs. This is much bigger than. Ladybird beetle is also known as a ladybug, boys and girls. And when ladybugs hatch as larvae, their first meal is often the egg case that they crawled out of. This is called a common muir. There are pointy eggs. Do you see that pointiness? It's cone-shaped. Seabird eggs are pointy at one end. So if they're laid on a rock ledge, they roll around in safe little circles and not off the cliff. Tubular eggs, this is a dogfish egg. While most sharks give birth to live young, some sharks, like the lesser spotted dogfish, begin life in a leathery egg case with tendrils. The tendrils anchor the eggs to seaweed so they won't be swept away by the ocean current. An 
An egg is clever. An egg is clever. The markings on some eggs keep them or help them blend in with their surroundings. This is called camouflage. Camouflage is an egg's way of hiding. They're hiding. That's pretty smart. Right here it says that is a sooty turns egg right there. An egg might be speckled to resemble the rocks around it, or it might be gray, the color of mud by a lake. An egg does not want to be eaten by a raccoon or a snake or a fox or an insect. Camouflage. Eggs come in different sizes. An ostrich egg can weigh as much as eight pounds. It is so big and so round, it takes two hands to hold one egg. That is an ostrich egg. Hummingbird eggs are the size of a jelly bean. It would take about 2,000 hummingbird eggs to equal the size of one ostrich egg. And this is a Anna's hummingbird egg and its nest. And um, they're usually about the size of your thumb with jelly beans inside. An egg is artistic. These beautiful eggs. Does something. This is a paradise crow's egg. Here's a yellow hammer's egg. A red winged blackbird's egg. A scarlet tanager's egg. Atlantic salmon eggs. Bronze winged jackana eggs. These are green lacewing eggs. They're laid on a string to keep other animals from eating them up. It's pretty smart. Here's an Arctic Terns egg. This is a Paradise Rifle Birds egg, the Evening Gross Beaks egg, and a Sooty Terns egg. And here's some Harlequin bugs. All eggs on this page are actually larger than their actual size. Oh, I forgot right here. Those are Katie Did eggs. An egg is textured. Boys and girls, textured means that they feel differently when you touch them. Like furry can be a texture and squishy can be a texture. Let's see what they say. These are hard eggs. Boat-tailed grackle. Most bird eggs are hard. And these are soft eggs. A green iguana's eggs. Reptile eggs are often soft and rubbery. And there's gooey eggs leopard frog eggs, and amphibian eggs are gooey. The goo keeps them from drying out. And if you find something that looks like jelly in a little pond, it's usually frog eggs or some other kind of amphibian. There are smooth eggs like this black vulture's egg. Most bird eggs are smooth. And there are rough eggs. The southern cassowary, the eggs of cassowaries, emus, and Cormorants are rough. When you touch one of these eggs, you can feel it. It's bumpy. So we have smooth, rubbery, gooey, smooth. I guess this one's hard. Let me fix that. Hard, rubbery, gooey, smooth. And this one is rough. Rough would be bumpy. An egg might even be fossilized. Oh, wow. The remains of creatures that died millions of years ago may become hard rock or fossilized. Scientists have unearthed fossilized dinosaur eggs all around the world. Some are round and some are oblong, and some are as small as one inch. And some are as large as 20 inches. Scientists believe all dinosaurs hatched from eggs. An egg is giving. And so boys and girls, here's three different kinds of animals that hatch from eggs. This is um, a chicken. 
when it's three days incubation, it looks like that. And then seven days, it's growing inside. 13 days, it's got some arms and tails and wings or wings and tails. 18 days is starting to look a lot like a chick. And 21 days, it hatches. Two weeks for this salmon, five weeks for this salmon, eight weeks for this salmon, 11 weeks for this salmon. And here's what an adult salmon looks like. Two days for this grasshopper, five days for this grasshopper, seven days for this grasshopper, and 15 days for this grasshopper. So boys and girls, 15 days is just one more day than two weeks. These hatch much faster than salmon. The grasshopper embryo rests inside the egg until the weather is just right. So it might hatch in 15 days, but it might wait until it's not pouring rain. It's interesting that that little um, insect can figure that out. So here's something that's true about eggs. An egg gives the little creature growing inside everything it needs. The shell is the home and the yolk is the food and the white or the albumin is like its pillow. The shell is covered with tiny, teeny holes, which allow air to breathe inside. So here's the protein cord, and it anchors it in place. The air sac is in the larger end of a chicken's egg. The albumin is also called the egg white. The yolk is where the protein is stored, and the little growing um, animal is called an embryo. And it has a hard shell around it if it's a bird. This interesting science. An egg is quiet and then suddenly, oh my goodness, look at these legs and feet of the adult that has been sitting on this egg, a black necked stilt egg. Look at this teeny tiny crack right here. I think this um, parent is going to be happy. Did you know that not all eggs are hatched by the mom some eggs are hatched by the dad like emu eggs are hatched by the dad the mother lays the egg but the dad actually does the setting on the egg and um penguins the dad puts the egg off of the ice onto its feet and incubates the egg and here in our classroom we're incubating eggs in a machine so when they hatch, they're going to look at me and go, I like people. They're going to think I'm the mama. So boys and girls, I think this egg was quiet until suddenly, here it is, pecking a little hole right there with its egg tooth. Let's see what it looks like when it comes out. An egg is noisy. There they are. These are black neck stilt chicks, and they say cheap, peep, cheap, peep, and they want some food. Some animals, when they hatch, need their parent there to help them, to feed them, and to show them what to do. Some animals never meet their parent, like turtles don't. These are called green vegetable bugs, and they, the parent will lay the egg. The mother will deposit the egg on what they need to eat. And they won't meet their uh, the grown-up green vegetable bug. This is a passion vine caterpillar. Boys and girls, these are just like the caterpillars that Mrs. Ono has at her house that I brought to school. And we actually saw the eggs and we saw the tiny baby caterpillars that were the size of my eyelashes. And we watched them munch the leaves that I brought in. And then we actually saw them make a chrysalis. And what was the adult? The adults of a caterpillar are... A butterfly or a moth and we saw these they were orange butterflies remember when we got to let them go these babies look hungry and they look noisy and boys and girls when our chicks hatch they're going to be noisy look at all the adults so we looked at the eggs that were laid all of the animals. Look at all the different oviparous animals. And now we get to see what the adults look like. 
a big variety. Some of them are birds. Some of them are amphibians. Some of them are insects. Some of them are reptiles, like this green iguana here is a reptile, or this dogfish is a kind of a shark. Aren't eggs interesting? I sure hope you enjoyed that book. This is one of my favorites. An egg is quiet.